Hi, so this is the first video in a series on rounding and estimation. It's actually on the playlist, and if you want to have a look at the rest of the videos on the playlist, it'll give you some more examples. Um, with this particular type of question, it's usually round about C grade or so at GCSE, uh, which is high school maths, and it will typically say something like 7.82 multiplied by 620 divided by 0525 and what they want you to do is to work out an estimate for this type of calculation so it's an estimate okay so they usually appear on non-calculator papers they're fairly straightforward but what you need to be looking at is trying to round each of these numbers to perhaps one significant figure or to round the numbers in such a way that it will make your calculation a little bit easier. Okay, so if we look at the first number here, we've got 7.82. Well, to one significant figure, that's going to be 8. Okay. Um, this here, 620, um, well, it's probably just as easy to round it to 600. Again, to one significant figure, 600. And the bottom, I guess, to 0 0.5. And what this will do is give you a very quick and very relatively straightforward estimation of this calculation. Um, I haven't got a calculator with me, so I don't know how close it's going to be. But nevertheless, it'll give you a very good idea. So um, if we multiply along the top, I've got 8 times 600, which is 4,800. And that's going to be divided by 0.5. OK, so basically what it's saying is how many halves are there in 4,800? Well, actually, there's 9,600. Um, now, if you're not too sure about how to do that calculation, then one of the things you could look at doing is basically manipulating the fraction to suit yourself. And one of the great things about fractions is that providing you do the same thing to the top and the bottom, it means that the fraction hasn't changed. So in this particular case, what I'm finding hard is to divide by 0.5 or find out how many halves there are in 4,800. So I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply that by 2. Because if I multiply it by 2, it means that the bottom is going to be 1. A half times two is one. So that's going to make it much, much easier for me. But if I multiply the bottom by two, I have to multiply the top by two. So that means my calculation actually is 4,800 times two. Now, however you do that, whether you just do a bit of short multiplication like this, or whether you actually just simply add 4,800 to 4,800 doesn't really matter it's absolutely fine you're still going to get the same answer both ways but it means that my final calculation is 9,600 divided by 1 which is 9,600 okay so um, just because you have a division of a half it doesn't need to, or any number for that matter any fra um, decimal doesn't really matter providing you can manipulate the fraction to suit yourself um, I hope that's been helpful for you. I'm going to post another video on a very similar sort of question, also pitched at roundabout grade C. Um, please do have a look at the rest of the playlist. Also subscribe to the channel and I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.